students of class 5 and uh, today i am going to explain the poem friends that is your first poem about friends f r i e n d s so the summary of the poem is given here i am going to read that before that the poem is actually on nature and uh, the poet is abi farwell brown uh, inspires and motivates children not to be scared and tells the children that there is always nature around us all around us wherever you see it is nature and nature in many ways is caring for us and protecting us so she sends a message to the children not to be scared or not to be at all afraid of anything now here is the summary friends is a simple poem on nature by abby farwell brown through this poem the poetess describes the way that nature specifically the sky wind and sun can provide comfort to us in the poem she inspires and motivates children not to be scared of being alone at all because nature is always around us and is always loving and caring towards us now there are a few words used uh which may be critical for you to uh, find its meaning so vocabulary flickers flickers is shine unsteadily or very change rapidly in brightness sometimes very bright sometimes uh, dim that is flickering of light less less jealousy -E, is a fine open fabric of cotton or silk made by looping twisting or knitting thread in patterns that is less steel or stealing steel here in the poem is move somewhere quietly o e r o apostrophe e r is uh, used in old poems by poets or means over whisper means speak very softly not uttering words through throat only uh, uh, speaking with breath so secretly speaking at the ears of someone that is whisper scarcely means insufficiently or when you can scarcely see something you can barely or hardly see it means when you can scarcely that is scarcely see means hardly you can see it is invisible next to invisible so that is all these are the words which are there in the poem next another thing uh, in the poem that is uh, figure of speech now poets and writers they use different figure of speech so one of that is rhyming scheme and one more is like simile so here in your poem simile is there now simile means what a simile is used to compare two things of uh, two things by using the words like or as they are often used in poetry to describe a thing by comparing it to something else for example if we say he swims like a fish now swims like a fish is a simile here now that means we know a fish can swim uh, with ease a fish swims very easily in water now it describes this particular simile describes a person who swims really well or who can swim like fish very easily in water so that is why this is a person compared with a fish with the quality of swimming then we have other similes like as brave as a lion a person brave like a lion so this is a simile as quick as lightning quick because lightning falls very quickly so if a person is very quick then can be compared with lightning and said as as quick as lightning so 
these are all the uh, references from your poem now we will see the poem okay the poem begins at such we often feel afraid when we are alone however nature is always there to give us company and make us feel safe it is the best friend human beings have now read this poem about how nature treats us like friends so friends how good to lie a little while and look up through the tree the sky is like a kind big smile bent sweetly over me now here the poet says it is so nice uh, to lie down beneath a tree and look upwards one will see the sky which looks as if the sky is smiling sweetly uh, over the person who is sleep, uh, sleeping or lying beneath the tree now the sunshine flickers through the lace of leaves above my head and kisses me upon the face like mother before bed now just like mother puts a child to sleep by kissing on uh, his face similar is the case with sunshine sunshine by its light uh, makes us comfortable throughout the day so sunshine has been compared with the kisses of the mother now this is a simile here simile as we know like here in the first stanza we had the sky is like a king uh, is, is like a kind big smile so sky has been again compared here with smile of a person sky is like a kind big smile bent sweetly over me so these are similes we already uh, read about similes a uh, few minutes ago now here sunshine is compared with the kisses of mother next the wind comes stealing over the grass to whisper pretty things and though i cannot see him pass i feel his careful wings so again the child the poet says the wind comes stealing very quietly the wind comes we cannot see the wind so it comes over the grass as if whispering in the ears of the of the child and though i cannot see him pass i feel his careful wings so the wind also is uh, is uh, has a soothing touch on human body so that is what is explained here so many gentle friends are near whom one can scarcely see a child should never feel a fear wherever he may be that is to say that there are in nature so many good friends around us whom we cannot see whom we can we hardly can see so therefore that's why a child should never be scared of anything because so many friends he has around him in nature so this is the poem written by abi farwell brown and this is all about the poem thank you